today we're going to be talking about Amazon and my experience and tips that I wish I knew before I started. Let's dig right into it. Make sure you are there on time when you start working at Amazon. Amazon has no tolerance for tardiness. So make sure you arrive on time, wake up early, get ready, and then go. Make sure you download the A and Z app, which is going to help you in the long run, which brings us to our tip number two. The A and Z app is super important because it lets you punch in and out without having to be near a time clock. There was once that I walked into the facility and the time clocks weren't working, so I immediately pulled my A and Z app and was able to log in. One cool thing about Amazon that I didn't know is that they actually provide free internet, so make sure to log into their network and then use it. Amazon allows you to have your phone. Just make sure you're not texting while you're working and you stay busy. When you're done in your shift, you can leave seven to five minutes. I'm not sure because I've heard two different stories, but I usually just leave five minutes early when I gotta go. Amazon is still gonna pay you for that time that you leave early so you don't have to wait on the clock. So you immediately just scan and go and Amazon is gonna pay you the difference. If you accumulate unpaid time off, you can use that time to leave early so you don't have to stay in the facility. You don't have to talk to anybody. You just go on the ANZ app and then you just request time off and then leave an hour early without having to tell anybody anything and you're good to go. This one is very important make sure you learn the facility. Knowing where everything is, is super important because this is where you're gonna navigate the facility to maximize your time when you gotta rest and time for your breaks, time for your lunch, etc. There was one time that I got lost in the building and I actually ended up clocking in late for my lunch and I ended up getting a half a point for that because I was still learning the facility and I forgot to punch out because I wasn't used to punching out during lunch. There are some jobs that don't require that, but Amazon does. You gotta punch out during your lunch and punch back in. And I got half a point because I kind of missed a time and it really wasn't my, I mean, it kind of was my fault, but I was kind of new. So there is actually no forgiveness. Uh, I could probably talk to HR and get it removed, but it's only half a point and I'm early every day. So I should be fine. But learning the facility is super important because there are halfway points where you can go down the stairs and leave and exit the building as fast as possible. As well as every time you're on the far end of the building, there are halfway points where they have desks laid up where you can lay and rest. They have a microwave, but it's only one. And then they have a fridge where you can put your lunch bag so you don't have to walk all the way to the break room. And that's very convenient to maximize your downtime because you're on your feet all day and you just don't want to go all the way to your car, all the way back. And it's going to waste like 20 minutes out of your 30 minute break if you get to because I get I only get 30 minute breaks. Uh, and it's just not, it's not convenient. It's just better to just stay nearby and then just rest your legs. Try not to work four days consecutively. I know a lot of people want to have three days off consecutively, but it's better to work two days, be two days off, work two days, and then be one day off and then work two days. I found that to be the most convenient for me. Uh, if your schedule doesn't allow it, of course, you kind of just have to adjust. So make sure you just try to rest as much as possible. If you sign up for an extra day for extra pay, make sure you're able to attend because once you accept the day, you have to show up. There is no, I can't do it anymore or I changed my mind. You have to show up. I did six days in a row and it was very tiresome, but I knew I was going to be able to do it. So I signed up for it. So make sure you just know what you're doing when you're signing up for extra days and that you're going to be free that day. Amazon doesn't offer any more pay. Uh, once you start at 15, that's where you're going to stay at. They don't increase your pay. That, that's it. So just make sure to maximize your profits, uh, save money, and then just balance your work and your life. And then you should be fine. Working four days at Amazon, you got to work hard. You're going to sweat, which is nice because it makes the time go by quicker. And I like that about Amazon. I don't like sitting at a job and feeling like I'm stealing money from the job. Essentially, there are jobs that have slow time. I used to work for a job that was very slow and I felt like I was stealing the job or stealing money from the job. And I just felt useless and just standing there. I was gaining weight too, so I didn't like that. I actually like fast pace and I like moving. I feel like the rate is a bit too high uh, because it, you don't know what you're gonna get when, cause I'm a stower. So when you are stowing in the building, you get big items, you get small items, but sometimes you just straight up get big items and then the pod comes and then the pod, you know, it's full and the cubicles, it doesn't fit. That can be really stressful, but just make sure that Amazon, once they realize like you have a low rate, they'll send somebody to look at how you're working. And if it looks like you're putting effort into it, they're going to overlook it and then tr they'll try to give you some tips and kind of just to adjust. But like if, as long as you put effort, you're going to make it like there's just no way you won't unless you're completely like out of shape. And, you know, you feel like you're dying by the end of the day. It, it's just better to, you know, either stick with it till you get back in shape or just, you know, find something else. Because, you know, Amazon's not for everybody. I, I you know, the first day I started, I was like deadbeat. I'm like, man, but that's because I hadn't worked in a week because you know, I was jobless. 
but then I got the job and then I got back in shape. I mean, it didn't take long for me because I, you know, I previously was on my feet all day. So I was already accustomed to the workload, but like people that are brand new that, you know, transfer from like an office job or something, it's going to take a while. It's going to be tiresome, but it's a consistent and it's worth it. And I, I like having the option to take off a day if I'm busy, once you accumulate your time off. And then once you become a blue badge, you can get paid time off you start accumulating. And I think they give you automatically some time off from what you've had once you convert from, from white badge to blue badge. I personally like Amazon. It's my main source of income as I'm trying to build other things to make more money. Cause you know, we all want to make money in the future and I just want to try to balance things out. So I like to work and then just save money and then invest. And you know, I'm working on stocks. I save money while I'm working at Amazon. Then I'm going to try to do side hustles, maybe a shirt company. I don't, I don't know, but like slowly and slowly build up. Don't have high expectations, have small goals, set them by the end of the month or by the end of the four months. Like right now I have a four month plan that I'm trying to consistently do, but it's going to require me to, for me to put a lot of effort and a lot of work. Nothing is easy. Those places that tell you money's going to come by quick and easy are lying to you. And it's just, that's how a lot of people get scammed. A lot of people think they can make 30,000 into 60,000. And then they lose all that 30,000 because the person that was offering the deal was lying and scamming. Just be very careful, especially with the hard times in the pandemic. A lot of people are scamming and stealing and doing all these bad things. So just stay alert and smart. So that's going to do it for today. That was my experience working at Amazon. So yeah, it's a love and hate relationship. I mean, it's a job, it pays and it does what it needs to do. So I'm not complaining about it. Uh, just people have got to stop complaining about a job. I know it's hard, but no job is easy. But if you really need it and you really want it, you just got to work hard and put in the effort, you know, and make sure your mental mind is clear and clean. Like I just get through it. I don't think about it. I don't complain about it. I'm just like, you know what? It's just another day. I'm going to make money at the end of the day. And it's working towards my goal because having goals is what motivates you to get where you want to be. Anyways, I hope my advice helps. And I hope people that are watching this don't get scared about working at Amazon. It's not hard. It's not bad. It's not as evil as people say. The rates are high, but they don't worry about your rate the first month uh or month or two and then they'll eventually start looking into you make sure you're working hard trying your best and then you'll get paid at the end of the day and you know you get direct deposit you can set it up and the a and z app is your best friend so if you do get hired at amazon make sure you download it first and get what you need well anyways guys thank you so much and i'll catch you guys on the next one goodbye